Um, just watch these parts here, just trying to get the camera up at a half decent angle. There's a bloody pain uh, filming in reverse. Um, these are the end covers you might remember. So this is the, the port where the junction box bolted on. So the cables were coming out through this end and inside. So these parts are only being washed at the moment, so they still have to be blasted and repainted. So these are straight out of the wash at the moment. There is some surface uh, rust on there because the, the solution that I use to wash my parts in is... I suppose to a point aggressive, but not over aggressive, but if you leave parts in there for too long, it starts to do some funny things to, to some to different metals. Um, so you have to um, wash the parts in water after you've washed them. So obviously you need to dry them well, which is a bit of a pain, but they, it does wash very well. So these will be blasted anyway, so I'm just washing off the excess uh, grease and so forth to get them ready for plastic at the moment, as with those other small parts that I showed you. I'm um, sort of looking at the grey part that you've got in front of you at the moment. Looks like I stole it from the US Navy or something, but that's the colour of the motor, believe it or not. Just spin that around so you can sort of see the large bearing mounts in there. So this is the obviously the pulley end of the electric motor. You can sort of see that square, that squared off face where the covers bolt back, extend back from there. I'll just take you over to a few other bits and pieces. So these are the, uh, maybe staying with a little bit of the Navy theme. Uh, maybe it looks like I stole these off a Navy diving helmet, but uh, these are the nuts, brass nuts, uh, or brass nut, I've got a couple of them. Uh, these are the electrical um, elbows off the uh, electrical junction box that come in off that um, black plastic uh, flexible conduit that I showed you that I've cleaned up. So obviously I've cleaned these up well. So everything's going to get a good tidy up or either a repaint, so they've come up, come up very well. I just have to get in there with the wire wheel just to clean the thread in there. So it's not too bad, but it's pretty much straight from the wash, and I've only cleaned the outside so far. But they've come up okay. Just quickly just show you electric motor, make the video too long. So just working on this at the moment, you probably can't see much because it's... Um, or you just see a whole bunch of lines on there looking at it in the video. I don't know how else it's going to come out to re-watch this before you guys do. Make sure this, this video is going to work. But just take you up on top. Um, you can obviously see that lifting lug that I've removed from there. And this is where we're looking through that hole uh, down inside the motor. So we're looking down on, the, on this part of the motor now. Probably from, uh, let me think, uh, the cooling fan would have been on this end of the motor. So we're looking on there. So I'm just scraping off most of the excess there. So I've, I've cleaned off some of the excess there, as you can see. And I've left some of it there to sort of show you a bit of the stages of... Where, what I'm up to, so I'll remove all these heavier pieces and then come in and we'll just clean that with a, a small wire, uh, a small um, uh, hand, um, what did I say, wire brush, I just think the bloody word, um, and then coming in with the uh, electric motor driven uh, wire wheels and just cleaning up the face here. So you can probably see most of that okay, I think. Just move those out the way. So just getting everything cleaned up, just move, removing all the gunk that's off there. So using a bit of solvent in a, in, a, um, in a spray bottle and just spraying the heavier sections just to get it out of little corners and then coming in with different wire, different diameters and different shaped wire wheels and cleaning all these all these out. It hasn't been too bad. That probably represents maybe, I suppose about 20, probably 20 to 20, oh, probably 20 to 30 minutes of work there, I guess. I didn't really watch the clock, but just sort of roughly about that. So I've already cleaned up the feet there, you can see, so all underneath have been cleaned, uh, cleaned it all inside there, as I say, so going from that to that, so, so I still have to paint it yet, so I thought I'd bring, as I say, I thought I'd bring it in before I paint it, so no much point in bringing in Shane, it's all painted and finished, but um, the next video I'll probably bring you in on is I'll bring you in and have all the parts assembled in, into the back of the, uh, the working end, as I like to call it, uh, get the feet on the machine, and then you, know, you see all this sitting in the back of the machine, nothing too big deal, but just bring you on stages to show you the, the, um, the uh, rebuild of the, of the Mazak mission or the Mazak CNC lathe. And then just show you guys, as I say, um, parts along the way that might be of interest. And you guys can jump in and out and watch as you like with some parts, but um, might be a little bit boring, but I try and keep the videos as short as I can and try and keep some of the interest there. But that'll do for this video. I look forward to seeing you guys back on the next one. Okay, bye for now.